Uh, so um, we're going to jump into some uh, quick sketch. And what I'd like to do, I've got three other images. We're going to, this one's going to be included. So if you love this one, it's included. Um, and we are going to work through uh, some very short drawings. So you're going to be working on a piece of paper. Um, I'd like your piece of paper to be uh, 8 by 10. All right, so that's like 8 by 10 is, uh, it's 8 across and it's 10 tall. If your paper is uh, 9 by 11, that is okay. If your paper is 7 by uh, 9, that's okay too. Um, if it's a postcard, uh, maybe. Uh, so we'll go like that. And, uh, you know, uh, anything smaller is going to be difficult because we're already going to break this up. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to, you can either fold or divide by drawing a line. We're going to cut the paper in half. We're going to cut the paper in half. All right. And then in this area up here, we are going to cut the paper in half again. All right. And these, this is going to be our one minute quick, quick sketch space. So we're going to do each drawing four times, but we're only going to give ourselves uh, one minute each. Um, as we move through these spaces, uh, we're going to increase the time. Uh, what we're doing here is we are uh, giving ourselves permission to mess up. We're getting those first mistakes out of the way and we're developing visual vocabulary. So uh, we're going to do four short ones and then uh, we will carry this over, divide, divide, and we're going to do one, two, three, four, uh, two minute drawings. And then you are going to pick um, a single image. Uh, well, and then you're going to pick uh, a single image uh, to That's confusing. Afterwards, we'll move into some three minute drawings. So we'll do one, two, and three three minute drawings. Um, if you need a second piece of paper, uh, you can use one. Uh, and then after that, we're gonna do one long uh, eight minute drawing. So uh, what we're really exploring here is the relationship between um, how much time you have to work, and what you can accomplish as an artist. Uh, and uh, it's one of the big lessons I try to teach my students is that like, of course, uh, resources available include your art supplies, they include your you know, instructor, um, but they also include the amount of time you have to work in the day. So um, I know for me, like, you know, I work on art in the morning, I get up early, and uh, that's kind of like, you know, because that's important to me. Um, and uh, that's common. Uh, Bob Ross, for example, everybody is a big fan of Bob Ross because he's great. Um, but uh, his painting style is so fast because he had a really tight schedule and he had to learn to paint quickly. Um, in addition to that, he stuck with subject matter that was pretty simple. He did uh, mountains and trees. Um, that, that is, you know, and that's great. Like landscape is a great entry point to, uh, art. <clears throat> so, um, I'm excited for you guys and, uh, I'm going to, uh, power down the YCOM and I'm going to get out my, uh, traditional media and I have a series of drawing videos. I'm going to do my best. Um, if I mess up, I mess up. That's life. Um, So I'm going to go ahead and do uh, some drawing videos. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do some drawing videos. If I mess up, I mess up, but I don't think I will. I've already warmed up my drawing muscles this morning. I did a little bit of drawing before this. So 
if you uh, don't have a great experience or mess up on something and you see me mess up, uh, that's your opportunity to give yourself a break because uh, no one's perfect. So I hope you guys enjoy the demonstration and I can't wait to see what kind of work you make.